All right, guys, in this uh, video, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try to show you how to move binary numbers around to turn on and off instructions. It sounds really simple when I say it like that, but there's a lot more involved with it. So to jump in, I wanna remind you of a few things. One, remember those data tables we've been using for like the last couple weeks? We are going to be using those a lot more in this section so we can totally understand and I hope that you guys can see that back side of everything, okay? The second thing I want to remind you about is remember those data tables are connected to some kind of terminology I want you to remember. Remember that the first zero after the N7 is the word level, okay? So when the, somebody says we're going we're gonna to take it to the word level, they're talking about the whole 16 um, digit binary number, okay? And all I've got here is I have my N7 and I have my B3 because we're going to be moving from one to the other here in just a second. So remember that first... Uh, Decimal there, if you will, is the word, and the second one is the bit, okay? And when I go and I want to look at the word level, and then I want to look at the bit level, I'm talking about those two numbers, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take our N7 file, and we're going to put a number into it. So all this, and it's going to, say we put in like a, a 7. I think, I believe a 7, if you put in 7, it would turn into three ones at the very beginning of your, your binary number. I'm sorry, and it's hard to see because it's all the way over here, but it would be three ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm then going to take that N7 number and I'm going to use a move instruction and I'm going to put it into my B3 file. I'm then going to connect instructions to each one of these individual bits. So if I turn, um, I'm sorry, when I point that, I should be pointing at this this bottom one. When I turn, let's say I, tr I hook up instruction to this bit right here. I'm when it turns from a one to, a, or I'm sorry, from a zero to a one, that bit will turn on. Okay. Or if it's a uh, examine if closed, or I'm sorry, if examine if open, it will open up or close. You know, depending on what type you use there. So all I'm going to do is I'm taking that information. I'm looking at the bit level to figure out if it's a one or a zero, and it's going to have an instruction that coordinates with that. Okay. It's really that simple. We're gonna take we're gonna take N7 words, move them into a B3 word, and then we're gonna look at the bit level with our instructions to turn on um, that instruction or turn it off. Um, what we're gonna do first off is I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you this movement on the computer, and then we're gonna actually do a lab where we do that. And then later on, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have you guys doing this with a uh, sequencer, which is all it's doing is instead of having individual move instructions, it's just gonna be clicking through them really fast, okay? Now, why do you need to know this? Well, what's gonna happen is you get a big manufacturing plant and all of a sudden we have thousands and thousands of data points throughout that program. I can change it by putting in one number into my N7 file and it changes all throughout this program or it's running through a sequencer that has an order of operations that is constantly changing and I don't need to have limit switches or items turning them on and off, okay? So it's, it's kind of, we're getting into starting the advanced PLCs portion of this class and I'm just gonna give you a taste of it. But we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna do it longhand first and then we're gonna be moving to a sequencer and doing it really fast. So let's go and let's look at this on the computer on how it would work. All right, so now I'm here at the computer, and what I want to do is I'm just going to quickly walk you through the program I've got put together, because this is going to be a program that you guys are going to pretty much be putting together yourselves in a couple minutes, okay? So all I do is I have a bunch of B3 bits. Notice this B3 bit is zero, this is a B3 one, and this is a B3 two, okay? Notice that the word level is zero, notice that the bit levels are two, one, and zero, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. All I have is just some random lights that are on my trainer um, that I've got hooked up. We're just gonna show you that when these instructions get turned on and off. I have a move button right here. This is a momentary button. I have it hooked to my green, green button up there. I can turn it on and off. So when I press this button, it's gonna move whatever is in the source to the destination, okay? Let me click out of that. Okay, so it's not as bright. Um, notice that I have N7 getting is the source and the destination is a B3. So we're moving it from N7 into B3, okay? Notice that our destination now has 16 bits underneath here, okay? This is the 16-bit word that is of B3, okay? If I go over here to my, um, I'm gonna show you these really quick. So this is my N7s and let me show you my B3s, okay? Oh, I hate this. When you click, a, if you click the screen at all in the wrong place, it'll 
kind of move it to where you don't want to, or where you can't see it, okay? So what has happened is I'm gonna move whatever number I put into binary right here into this binary right here. These B3 bits over to my left are going to look at whatever bit is in the binary and it is going to change accordingly. So if B3 colon zero changes from a zero to a one, suddenly this instruction will become true and this light will turn on, okay? Now, it gets really interesting and I'm not gonna, like I said, I can't leave these up while it's running because it, uh, it constantly is turned, every time I click the screen it changes, but what happens is I'm gonna click right here and I'm just gonna throw a number one into my N7, okay? So N7, a number one will be a number one in the colon, or B3 colon zero slash zero. It's gonna then move that one into here and then turn on this instruction, turning on this light, okay? So I'm gonna click here, I'm gonna put a one, hit enter. Okay, the one is just sitting there now. If I'm, I'm gonna reopen my N7 files, come on, and then I'm gonna also reopen this B3 file, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna press the button. It's gonna move it, and I wanna, see, you can see that there's an, a one here right now, just because I put it right here, okay? Press the button. You can see that now my B3 is turned on. Notice that the one has been moved from into this B3 file. Notice that the destination is now the exact same word as our N7 file right here is, okay? Notice that B3 file's on, turning my light on, okay? Very simple, all we are doing is moving the numbers in the binary around to turn on bits, okay? If I will go, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna throw, let's throw a two in here, and I hit enter, I'm gonna go ahead and press my button. Now my, my one came on, okay? So if we were to go back and we were to look at our, our uh, binary right here, notice that the bit of the number one is changed to a one. So it went from a zero to a one. So this bit is looking at this, or I'm sorry, this B3 instruction is looking at this bit right here to determine whether it's on or off. If I was to throw a, um, let's throw like a seven in there. We go ahead and press the button. All three of them turned on. Okay, so notice it's all three are now ones. Okay, all we're doing is we're looking at the binary to see which ones get turned on. And we can, we can sit here and we can do this with a bunch of different numbers and that's pretty much what you guys are gonna be doing here in a second is we're going to be putting a bunch of different numbers in here and we'll be turning them on and off based off the binary. This is why it's important to understand the difference between words and bits and to be able to look at the bits and see what's getting turned on. I don't know if you guys have been following along, but in the, the actual instruction manual I give you, it has the bits for every single um, instruction, and everything we do, it actually has the binary, I'm sorry, sorry, not bits, but the binary address for that. So we're constantly using binary like this, but instead of um, pushing a button now, we're just using the binary to turn it on, okay? So go ahead and move on. I hope that kind of explains um, another idea or process that we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and do, practice this once, and then we're gonna up the game and we're gonna go into sequencers.